Hello, today we'll try to replace a, almost a 20 year old Rainbird sprinkler controller, an old one, with a Ratio 3 smart sprinkler controller. Ratio 3 comes in a nice little blue box. We'll unpack this and see what is inside. There's a nice short installation manual. Goes step by step. Tells you what is in the box, what you'll need for installation, and step one, two, three, and four, I believe. Three steps and we should be done. Let's start with step one. Let's clearly document how the old system is working. So it's connected to the power outlet there. I'm going to see what is inside here. This is the first time I'm removing this cover. It's a bunch of cables connected to each of those uh, uh, sprinkler stations. I'm going to take a couple of pictures of this. So uh, when we put back the new controller, we know exactly which cable needs to go where. Notice the existing wiring. There is a power input which is coming in from the power outlet here. It's connected onto these three cables here. And then uh, zones one through 12 or 16, whatever number you have, these are the cables that are connected to each of those. And then there is a couple of white wires. So these are the common wires. So on the new controller, there are three or four common, uh, uh, you know, uh, connections where you can insert uh, these into any of those uh, COM connectors. Next, I'm going to run all the stations uh, once to see if uh, all the sprinklers are working fine. And also, it gives me an opportunity to take pictures of those zones so I can upload it on my ratio app. So let's do that. The first zone is my flower bed. Take a picture of it, just making sure uh, all the speakers, uh, speaker heads are working fine. Let's see how those connectors look like in the ratio new system. If you look at, if you open faceplate, you'll notice uh, the common white connectors and then connectors for each of the zones one through how many ever you have and then there are connectors for the sensors s1 s2 uh, since I don't have sensors uh, I'm not going to worry too much about them and there's a connection for a uh, 24 volt AC uh, coming from the sensors uh, again I'm not going to use them because I'm going to use the uh, use only the power input for, from the adapter If you have any questions on wiring, you can visit uh, ratio.com slash wiring. Next step is to disconnect the power and remove all of these cables. Let's do that. Let's remove all of these. After removing all of these cables, I'm going to now get rid, uh, I mean, dismount the box, the controller box. Okay, so the old system is out. It served me well for 20 years. Thank you. The last page of the manual has the mounting template. It has uh, positions for these three holes that we need to mount the new system. And they match with these three holes that are at the back of the controller. So we'll drill those holes on the wall now. A little bit of planning here. Uh, this is where the old controller was. Now when I mount the new controller, I want to make sure that the uh, cables go into the system but you know uh, I have this PVC pipe that needs to stick out or that it cannot fit into that square hole in there. So I had to plan for it so that I use the maximum cabling length inside that goes inside plus how much ever I can push down on the controller I will. 
looks like I can reuse one of these older holes here. So I'm going to mount it so that this hole of the controller matches the one existing one and then I will get the template to position that way. Let's now mark those holes here. Let's drill those holes now. I'll use those anchors that they provided to actually get into these holes. Easy peasy, they're in place now. So we have the three holes with the anchors in them. We can mount the controller. Just make sure that all of those holes match and then uh, we can tighten them. So the controller has now been mounted. Now I'll start doing the wiring work. The new controller uses this spring loaded tab so you don't have to actually use screws. So it's very quick to actually push in those wires and fasten them. There, all of them have been connected. So there's one uh, learning here. Uh, so this PVC pipe since I had all of my tensions, it's kind of leaning more towards the left and the right of the controller. So all the cables have to be pulled somewhat to the left. So just make sure when you position the controller, you realize which of those you'll be using and then centralize them as needed. Also, after installing, gently pull the uh, wires just to make sure that they won't easily come off and then they're clipped firmly inside the controller. I just connected the power cord. The system has started booting up and blinking with the orange light. Now I have to download the app, create an account and connect to this ratio. All done. The controller is up and running. It took me about uh, 20 minutes to actually configure all the zones, give them names and attach those pictures that I took. Um, and the setup was so easy just uh, it is so self-explanatory you don't need any help for that so uh, i hope uh, you have a smooth project when you replace your uh, controller with a new one have a wonderful day and namaste